Beltrami County's best option for a new waste transfer station may be right in front of them. The Board of Commissioners announced on Tuesday an offer from Waste Management for the county to purchase the current waste transfer station in Bemidji's Industrial Park. County Administrator Kay Mack says the offer came after a recent meeting between Beltrami County, Polk County and Waste Management, which owns the Bemidji station. The Polk County Advisory Board heads a project that includes a new station there, as well as in Hubbard and Beltrami counties. The meeting revealed some concerns over Beltrami County's search for a site to build a second waste transfer building. They hated to see a solid waste transfer station here in Bemidji that was already built and existing uh, be kind of left as what they referred to as a stranded asset and then us building a new one. Beltrami County was awarded nearly $4 million for a new facility as part of the Polk County project. There are pros and cons to the purchase decision, which Max says will take at least the next three months. But the fix does have potential to get rid of the noise and smell concerns Bemidji residents have voiced. You're going to have some detractors uh, for wherever it might be, the existing one or a future one. And so even if we're purchasing the waste management one, we're going to have to deal with, I mean, you got neighbors there already too. So yes, yeah, putting it somewhere else or looking at where it's at now, it's, we're still kind of dealing with those issues. People are somewhat used to it, location. I mean, the public's used to going there, so there's that positive too. The county will receive funding at a ratio of three state dollars to every county dollar for a remodel as long as they follow two guidelines, renovating the building to last for at least the next 20 years and making sure they don't pay more than fair market value for the new transfer station. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.